Skier is allegedly a competent businessman with a criminal past, and with some of the quests he's got in store for you, I think he's got a criminal present as well, and it's just a shame that that present isn't a flash drive, because you're gonna need one. Kicking things off, he hands you Supplier, requesting you to find 3M armour and a Toz to gear up his guys, showing quite clearly that he cares about the safety of his men as much as he cares about yours. For the Extortionist, you need to track down Skier's Errand Boy, you know the one you've been mistaking for a dead PMC for four wipes in a row. Stir Up will stir up some negative emotions, having you run around with only a pistol to defend yourself. I'm not sure who is meant to realise that I'm using pistols to kill PMCs, as the guy I smoked in factory with a Glock sure as shit isn't talking about it anytime soon. What's on the flash drive is something you'll never find out, as you're probably yet to see one. These things are as elusive as that PMC I definitely just heard move in that bush. To start this quest, Skier reveals all the times he's been to prison, making me worried about what might be on these things. This quest is horrible. I bet half of you fuckers still have it sitting in your quest log. I'm still not cool enough for sponsors, so uh, come, watch it on, uh, come watch the big stream on Twitch. Right now. I'll kiss you. Maybe. Probably not. Meh, we'll see. Probably not though, but uh, maybe. In Golden Swag, Skier reveals that he's a true gamer, before telling us that this task is easy. Well, if it's that easy, why don't you go die repeatedly in dorms? In Chemical Part 1, Skier talks about a hobo that came to visit him who smelt so bad it was like a chemical weapon, before dropping a hee hee on us. Honestly, I'm not liking how much Skier hee hees, it's a bit too anime girl for me. Skier is definitely playing as a big booby hentai girl on VR chat, let's be honest. This quest will send you to the train car on customs to pick up the secure folder, and if you're anything like me, you'll be staring at this thinking your game's bugged before realising that the spawn is randomised now. For Chemical Part 2, Skier sends you to dorms to search 220, saying the reward will be impressive, and it better be for sending me to that fucking war zone. Oh, 15k. Thanks, Skier. That'll get me a bottle of water, you bastard. Chemical Part 3 will send you into the breachable room on Factory next to the office. Getting in's not the problem, but now everyone just heard you breach it, you're gonna have more guys on you than me at the weekend. Part 4 sends you back to dorms, Skier's second home, to mark a truck full of chemicals for him to sell. Vitamins Part 1 has you collecting an unknown product from Shoreline and Interchange. For Shoreline you're going to go to Resort for some mandatory assisted suicide, and for Interchange you're going to the medical rooms, which is very helpful because you'll definitely need all the meds. Vitamins Part 2, Skier says that the chemicals we bought him last night got his guys so high they almost died, which sounds like the perfect drug to get you through Tarkov. For this you need to find him 4 respirators that Scavs have apparently been using to block bullets. Skier says that this doesn't work, but my personal experience says otherwise. Friend from the West, Skier says he'll give us some top dollar for killing 7 PMCs, which as usual is not a lot of money. Friend from the West Part 2 has you paying $6,000 for the honour of working with Peacekeeper. 6000 bucks for non-stop shoreline quests, this is the biggest scam since day trading. For inform means arms, Skier wants you to set up cameras on customs, woods and interchange, supposedly so he can watch me getting rocked in all of these spots. For chumming you need to give gold chains to scavs as a peace offering and clear all the PMCs from interchange, which I don't think he needs to worry about too much as most of them are disconnecting anyway when they realise Killer hasn't spawned. In Silent Calibur, Skier has you killing scabs and PMCs with a silent shotgun for what seems like just his own enjoyment. Bullshit takes the gold by miles for the most fitting quest name, sending you on a suicide mission to dorms to plant an SV-98, a flash drive and a gold roller, and here's the best part, if you kill any scabs you fail the mission, even if you've already planted the goods. I and many of you out there will have killed a scab you thought was a PMC after planting these things, and let's just say that's a darkness you never come back from. For setup, you have to kill PMCs while roleplaying as a scav, which works quite well for me because this is the kind of gear I can afford anyway. For flint, you need to reach a stress resistant level of 5. I don't know about you guys, but my resistance to stress is only decreasing the more I subject myself to this game. Kill him! Bro! Bro! For Lenly, Skier channels his inner redditor by complaining about working for capitalists before sending you on a mission to collect motor controllers on shoreline and woods. For shoreline, you're back at the resort, lucky you, and for woods you've got to stand on this truck waiting for that man to snipe you. Rigged Game sends you to Shoreline, in a bit of a fourth wall break, the title of this quest is referencing all the cheaters. Safe Corridor has you killing scavs in the underground food section of Reserve, this quest is kind of annoying because one scav spawns down here every 30 raids. Night Sweep has you hunting 12 cultists for their knives, the cultists are sneaky, scary, heavily armed and ready to fuck you up, by the end of this you'll be somewhat of a cultist yourself. Long Road has you killing scavs on the big road that runs through Lighthouse, which was a quest implemented just to ruin player scavs days, as regular scavs don't even spawn here. Missing Cargo is referencing your body parts after attempting to go to Lighthouse again. 
In House Arrest, Skier talks about a private jail his men have been held in and channels his inner tramp when he suggests it's the guy's own fault for being caught like bitches. Both House Arrest 1 and 2 will send you to these apartment buildings on streets, which before long will feel like your own jail cell. Skier's a criminal, a crook, and a scammer, so I guess he fits in pretty well with the rest of these awful bastards.